Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another video, Pragmatic Addict here. Um, so I just got out of seeing uh, Jackass Forever. Um, I was able to get into uh, something called the Investor Connect screening at an AMC theater uh, in my town. And uh, as we all know, this movie does not release till wo worldwide February 4th, uh, probably in most places February 3rd, the night before. <laughs> and yeah, I just got done uh, seeing this movie. Really quickly, um, if you guys didn't see my last video, my top 16 uh, most anticipated films of 2022, uh, this is at the very top of the list. I was extremely excited for this movie. <laughs> I've seen all the Jackass movies. I'm a longtime fan of Jackass. I could not wait to see this movie. It, it, ever since it got announced, even now seeing the movie and doing this review, it's so, it's so weird to think that this even happened. But yes, I did see this movie, and... Uh, well, let's talk about it. So Jackass 4 reunites uh, the Jackass gang for the first time since, I want to say 2010 was Jackass 3. <laughs> Though with this one, <laughs> right off the bat, there are things that I was worried about that I feel like a lot of people are going to want me to address. For example, this film did take place uh, filming-wise during the midst of COVID. Uh, Bear Margera, we all know the nonsense going on with him. He is for the most part, excluded from this movie. Um, I was reading somewhere actually before I did the review that they were actually going to leave his scenes in the movie, but there was only one stunt where I actually saw him uh, in it for a split second, very, very quick moment. <laughs> is also credited uh, in the final credit, so just get out, that out of the way. Um, there may be more scenes with Bam that I just didn't catch, but uh, moving on from that, yes, this is the first Jackass film in 10 years. <laughs> and right off the bat... Again, there's a lot of things. I mean, from seeing these trailers, there's that part of me that was like, oh my god, they're doing this. What are they going to do? What are they going to do for the intro? What are they going to do for the outro? How these guys are 50 now. What are they going to do in this movie? And I'm going to tell you, the things that I was worried about did happen. Um, Again, these guys are in their 50s now. Um, The stunts this time around, there, there are some creative, you know, creativity uh, as a movie reviewer uh this time around watch, watching a new jackass movie i was like thinking to myself like we well, you know i'm gonna keep an eye out for you know like how sharp these boys can do this time around what are they gonna bring new to the table after all these entries these movies and you know even action point bad grandpa and the show what are they gonna bring and there are there are moments where i was like wow dude i would have even thought of, su of, of such a fucking thing <laughs> but in saying that not only the stunts but even just like the chemistry Things are definitely, like, more mellowed this time around. Again, these guys are 50. A lot of the movie does, you know, mainly consist of dicks and getting hit in the nuts and vomiting. It, it's jackass, just not as creative or as sharp as any other jackass. And with saying that, there was a lot of hype about this movie, you know? People getting hospitalized and then, you know, the... All the cameos that are in this film, I will say that this film does probably feature more or less the most celebrity cameos. But a lot of this movie, while there is a lot of hype to it, there are a lot of worries. And those hypes do happen, but they never really exceed to that limit. And the worries that people are worried about, yeah, they're there. The chemistry between the characters is fine, I guess. Uh, specifically, like... You know, Pontius and Steve-O and Johnny Knoxville, they're all themselves, and it was a delight to see these guys come back and work together. It was just joy, dude, right there. <laughs> Again, these stunts aren't as, like, you know, out there. There isn't as big of a variety as there are in other Jackass entries. The thing that mainly kept me on edge was the fact that these guys were, like, 50. You know, how far are they going to go? And with that expectance, they... Again, this doesn't nearly live up to as much as the other entries. Again, like what I was saying earlier, like, like even, you know, ever since that this got announced, up until this point, and seeing the movie, now doing this review, it's still so weird to think that this movie even happened. I mean, Jackass 1 came out when I was like, what, 7? I'm now 26 now, and I'm watching these guys in the theater, do, you know, being Jackass, but I, w I will say this really quick, like, again, going back to like the, like with the filming, 
with it being, you know, taking production in the midst of COVID and the exclusion of, you know, Bam Margera and Ryan Dunn, it, you know, it, 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 it didn't, you know, there's no way for this one to live up as much as previous entries. And this really does show it. This really does feel like a jackass midlife crisis film in a sense. Interesting note, uh, there are a lot of newcomers. There's Jasper, there's uh, Rachel Wolfson, there's uh, Zach, there's um, boobies. There's a lot of uh, new, you know, inclusions to this film and to the Jackass crew. And really quickly, this is a big nitpick I kind of have. With like all the old members plus the new ones, everybody actually got to share equally as amount, like an equal amount of content. But Rachel Wolfson, she was only in probably like a, a couple, you know, stunts. And none of those were really, like, actually centered on her being, like, again, the center of that. Except for maybe just, like, one or two. So I thought that was a real bummer. I was really excited to see her addition into this. And, you know, I was really hyped about that. They really just kind of, like, kind of, like, let her just kind of be on the sidelines, which I thought, thought was, like, a little bit of nonsense. And this is another really specific one that I'm not sure if a lot of people are going to even, you know, think about. But remember the previous entries when, like, specifically, like, like Aaron McGee, when he would get, like, fucked with at the point where he would, like, actually, like, go berserk and, like, actually, like, kind of, like, lose his cool? He doesn't really get there in this one, which, weirdly enough, I was kind of, like, sad about him. Like, oh, dude, he, they all, they never let this guy go easy. They always back on him the most. They, like, this really felt like everyone was, you know, trying to go easy on each other. I mean, for obvious reasons, you know, COVID, again, their, their age. But it felt like things were just done very, very clean, especially for a jackass movie. There's things like, for example, like Dave England and Steve-O and Johnny Knoxville, you know, the toilet stuff, the bowl stuff, the porta potty stuff. That's all here. It's not nearly to the intensity level as, you know, again, previous jackass. There were times, you know, where I, where like, you know, I laughed. Again, this wasn't a bad movie, I don't think. But it's just, it's, again, it's weird to think about it. It's just, it's, it's the whole thing surrounding it in its entirety is just fucking weird and yeah the movie is simply like the worries that people are going to be worried about they're present in this movie to a pretty you know solid degree i'm gonna give jackass forever a 5.6 to a 5.7 out of 10 so that is my review for jackass again this is an early screen the movie doesn't come out for another couple days but it's not a bad movie. I think people will enjoy it. I just don't think it will be to the level of, you know, their enjoyment for previous Jackass movies. But I still didn't dislike it. So guys, that's going to do it for my review on Jackass Forever. Let me know when this movie does come out, what you guys think of it, and let me know what you guys thought of the review. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good night. Take care.